Hello, hello, and welcome back to the vlog. Don't want to be too loud because I just got August down and it's been an up and down kind of morning for him. So I'm going to fold some laundry. Today, August is four weeks old and Mario's working today, so it's just me again. Today is also August's one month pediatrician appointment. He's not technically one month old until Thursday. Today is Monday. This is just when we made the appointment. I don't know. <laughs> this will be the first time I'm taking August out of the house by myself without Mario. Big day. Big day. <laughs> I am extremely nervous. Every time he's been in the car his whole life up until this point, I've been in the back seat with him. So we'll see how this goes. Last night I got no sleep and you might be thinking, of course you got no sleep before we called newborn. He actually slept lovely. He slept in his typical little three hour increments. I just sometimes don't sleep and it has nothing to do with the baby. Most of you know that that's been a thing for years and it sucks because I feel like I have the kind of baby where I could be getting like pretty decent chunks of sleep and I just don't. And it's no one's fault but my own. But anyway, yeah, we had a pee pee incident this morning where August peed through his diaper onto me, onto the bed. So that was fun. <laughs> You know, there are so many bodily fluids that you're just suddenly totally cool with getting all over you the minute you have a baby, right? I've been pooped on, peed on, vomited on, and I'm just like, whoopsie daisy. <laughs> anyway, I have his laundry to fold and my laundry to fold, and then I want to do some dishes, and I still have to remake the bed. I stripped the sheets and they're in the wash from the aforementioned bathroom incident this morning but I haven't remade the bed because I'm trying not to make too much noise in there while he's sleeping. So I'll maybe do that later. And then I wanna bring the car seat in so that I can get him in like up here and then just like click him into the car. And yeah, we have to leave in mm, probably leave in like an hour, hour and 15. I wanna give myself lots of time so I can drive nice and on the speed limit, slow. Anyway, that's my day. We actually have housekeepers coming today. You guys may know if you watch the channel that I get the house deep cleaned twice a month, but I didn't have them come for the whole month of March because I just like didn't know if we were gonna have the capacity to have them here. And I'm glad that I did that, but it is now April and my in-laws are actually coming later this week. And so I will say we've done a pretty good job of keeping the house clean, mostly because we just kind of stay confined to the upstairs. Um, and I haven't really cooked a lot. I'm hoping to cook a little bit more starting like maybe this week or next. Still, I'd like the house to be just like deep cleaned. Also, my mother-in-law is allergic to cats. So if we can just get the deep clean done today, hopefully the cat dander doesn't bother her so much. Anyway, I'm just going to be here doing all of that this morning until August and I venture to the doctor's office. <laughs> okay, well, August woke up like 10 minutes after I f took that clip, so... He's in his little bouncer now. I finished folding all the laundry and then I fed him. Now he's sitting back in his little bouncer, giggling at the ceiling fan. He loves the ceiling fans. I think because like, you know, babies can see like black and white really well, like high contrast. So I think that's why he likes all the ceiling fans. But anyway, he's just uh, smiling up at the ceiling fan right now. Yeah, very happy. So he has to sit up for 20 minutes because he's been dealing with some reflux issues and then I have to change him and I didn't get to the dishes and I haven't remade the bed and I didn't get the car seat. But I think I'm just gonna take his little seat into the bedroom and remake the bed. Hopefully, right now he seems very content in the seat. Sometimes he doesn't, but he seems to be really content. So hopefully I can get him in, sitting in this for a little bit while longer so I can at least remake the bed and then we'll go from there. You know, the best laid plans. I'm not gonna get half the shit I wanna get done today done, but it'll be okay. I also need to eat and drink something because my boobs are empty, empty. That last feed really took it out of them, right? Let's go eat and drink something after this. Well, the bouncer solution lasted all of five minutes before he was screaming. Past fire didn't do anything. Honestly, he could probably eat more, but we don't really have time. <laughs> so I put him in this and made the bed. And now I'm just checking the diaper bag um, I just chugged a bunch of water. I still need to eat something. I've got wipes, I've got a changing pad, I've got a container for if anything gets wet or dirty and needs to come home. Four paws, extra clothes, extra hats. Looks like we used all the diapers. Oh, fortunately, mommy's got a stash right here. And you know what? We're gonna take a binky. Take a binky just in case. 
cipher bag has a little binky holder. It's a little windy out. I'm gonna put a hat and socks on you. And then we will head outside. Oh, two new skirts. Maybe we shall see if mommy can grab a roll bar. I can't believe it, but we're nearly out the door. I did not realize how much easier it was to leave the house when there's two people. Oh my god. I hope I remember how to use the stroller. Fuck. We're in the car. Actually, we're here. We're at the doctor's office. We're 20 minutes early because, well, I like to be early to things anyway, but um, I also like wanted to give myself time to park and time to figure out the stroller. Um, parking was way easier than I anticipated, so that wasn't a big deal. Anyway, he was screaming while I was putting him in the car seat because we haven't put him in the car seat since his two week appointment and he's grown quite a bit from two weeks to four weeks. So I had to like readjust all the straps because they were too tight on him, but then I didn't want them to be too loose. I was panicking. He was screaming. It was a whole thing. And he was screaming and screaming and screaming and I was just like, we gotta go. Cause I didn't know what else to do. He wouldn't take a binky. He like, I didn't want to take him out of the car seat. We just flipped him into the car seat. Anyway, the minute I started driving out like a light, he's snoring back there. Um, I know that like driving helps babies fall asleep, but like it was like magic, like literal magic. Anyway, um, I'm glad we're here early because I still do have to figure out the stroller. And I also believe that I need to change a diaper. So I'm gonna see if there's some place I can do that before our appointment. Yeah, okay. It's been eventful. <laughs> I don't even remember the last slip I took. I think it was when I got to the pediatrician's office and I was like, Oh, I gave myself some extra time for the stroller. And thank God I did. Couldn't figure out how to unfold the stroller. It's been a while. I taught myself before he was born. And Mario's done it every single time we've left the house. So I ended up having to call him and ask him where the button was. It's simply one button. Couldn't find it. He helped me. Then I couldn't get the car seat out of the car. Apparently there's two buttons to press that one. I thought there was just one. And another mom with a baby in the parking garage was like do you need help and i was literally on the verge of tears because august was screaming because he was hungry and he had a dirty diaper he was screaming and i was cursing and she came up to me and she was like can i can i help you and bless her she got the car seat out of the car for me showed me how to do it and all, and all was fine but it was like a 10 minute ordeal of tears from both me and my baby <laughs> Anyway, the pediatrician's appointment went great. Healthy, 47th percentile. He's uh, gaining weight and uh, looks good. He got a, his Hep B booster today. And then his next appointment's in a month and he'll get like all the rest of his vaccines. And then we're gonna be way more comfortable bringing him out in public. So I'm excited for that. Then I ordered some takeout, had lunch, fed him, and I finally got him down. It's so hard to get him to sleep during the day if we're not doing a contact nap but i just it was a lot this morning so um my housekeepers ended up not being able to come today they're not feeling well so i was just like stay away <laughs> so i don't know when they're gonna come i still need them to come this week i'll figure it out he's down now he's been asleep for the last like a little over an hour so that's why my voice is a little bit low because i'm just trying like not to rouse him is that the right way to use that word I don't know. Now that the housekeepers aren't coming, I don't feel quite as obligated to get as much tidying up done. I did a lot this morning though. Not as much as I wanted to, but more than I actually thought I would be able to, so. I actually think I'm gonna spend the rest of the day editing the birth story vlog. Not really a vlog. It's more just me and Mario talking through the birth. Of course, I have to edit in the same room where August is currently sleeping. So I'm hoping like just having the air like an AirPod in, like the clicking around noises won't bother him too much. We'll see. Maybe later I'll open up some Amazon packages that I got. I literally just sat here and stared into the floor for like the last three minutes. It's all on camera. And then I caught myself and I was like, why am I doing this? And then I remembered I only got like two and a half hours of sleep last night. I should probably take a nap. Well, we'll see where we get with the editing. Hello, it's several days later. I don't even remember what day I was vlogging or what we were talking about, but I do know that I was vlogging and I didn't finish it. <laughs> oh, I think it was the day Mario wasn't home. He's home now. Baby's asleep, Mario's upstairs. I don't know if he's taking a nap or what he's doing up there, but I don't have my phone on me, but I think it's like 1.30, 2 o'clock, something like that, on a Thursday. August is one month old today, which is very exciting. Today is April 11th. And um, anyway, I just thought I'd close out this vlog by doing a little unboxing. And I, the fun thing about this unboxing is I have no idea what's in here. My in-laws are coming tomorrow 
from New York or New Jersey and they're staying for the weekend and my parents are coming up on Sunday so that we can have like a big grandparents day on Sunday and we're gonna go to Huntington Gardens which is just like a garden in uh, Pasadena anyway that'll be like our first big outing with August that's not a doctor's appointment so I was like a little bit talking to my dad my dad and I were talking about it because my dad and I talk all the time and uh i was like well i don't i need to go like get a thing so that i can like breastfeed in public something that I can like cover me because right now i don't have anything like that and he was like leave it to me i'll take this off your plate <laughs> so my dad ordered me some breastfeeding covers and uh beethoven has already attempted to open the package for me i have no idea what's in here he said he bought a whole bunch of shit so let's see what my dad thought was was needed <laughs> oh my god he bought so many things okay well, we got a nursing poncho. Probably wash all these today. A nursing cover. So he bought me like a bunch of the same thing. I see, he bought me four different types of nursing poncho. Well now what's this? This looks different. He bought me a bunch of t-shirts. Well now I'm confused. Oh, what the? They're like half t-shirt? Wait, what? Hold on. Okay, so they're t-shirts, but <laughs> that's kind of cool. I mean, I don't know if I could use them in public because I guess I could. I'll just hide his head under here. Now that's interesting the weirdest shit I've ever seen in my life. He got me three of them. I had a, a red one, a gray one, and a black one. As per usual, he got me way too much. But I definitely have options. All right, so I've got three of these like breastfeeding shirts. This is just like a wrap to wear around in public. More of what I was assuming I would get. But yeah, you just like wrap it and snap it and then the baby's under here. That one's good. That's kind of what I was expecting. Oh, this is interesting. It's like an apron. Oh, and it's nice because it's got like wiring here so I can see the baby. Oh, I like this one. Weighted at the bottom and it's got like a wire here so it like sticks out so I can like look at my baby. The only thing is, I don't know how good the side protection is on this one. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna practice with some of these, I think. But this one's pretty good. I like this one. I think this one's my favorite so far. We got one more because my dad bought a lot of shit. He told me on the phone that he bought me a lot of things. And he goes, I just bought all of the things that had the best reviews when I put in like breastfeeding covers. <laughs> so these are all apparently like the highest reviewed breastfeeding covers. This is just a straight up poncho. You know what? I think this is the one I'm probably gonna go with because this has the most coverage. So I won't be like worried about my sides. I like this apron one. But I just feel like I'd be worried about like the view from the side because it doesn't really like cover all the way around. This one I can just put in and uh, yeah, I think this is my favorite and it's the softest. <laughs> oh, and it has a neckline insert so that I can also look at the baby. It's not the most effective thing. I don't think I'll use it. I still like this one the best though. Big ups to my dad for buying me so many breastfeeding friendly things. This is the one I like. He bought them all on Amazon. And that is where I'm gonna end today's vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. As you can see, my life's gotten um, very different and a little hectic, but all good. So uh, I'll see you in the next one. Mm.